everyone, so um, I'm just going to do a video about transferring, this is going to be part two. Um, I did a transferring video like um, a few months ago, uh, probably September or something. It's in the college information um, uh, playlist um, or college playlist. So if you just, um, I guess it's, you go on the main page and click playlist. Uh, that should show up, and underneath that, it should have um, transfer information. Um, that was part one where I I talked about filling out the application, um, getting transcripts ready to send in, like um, as most uh, current the most current uh, transcript, and send that with the application, and then getting a resume if it's needed. I know UT needed a resume. Um, that you, whatever you need for your major, um, like an audition video or um, just uh, anything else, like anything that you need and um, stuff like that. So um, that was pretty much it for the first part. This part, I'm going to talk about what to do, like, you know, when you're waiting and stuff like that. Um, when you're waiting for the application, when, when you send it in, you're waiting for your, um, you know, admission status. Um, what you can do is that some colleges, if you're going to live on campus, they'll let you fill out the housing contract, or not contract, the housing application, which you can do after you send in your application. Um, when they receive your application, they usually have a separate um, application for housing, which you can send in. I would get started on that as soon as possible, because usually they, get, they don't hand out contracts. Um, I mean, they hand out contracts to people who, who send in the application first. So if you're the first to send in that application, you're going to be the first one to get a contract and the first one they're going to offer housing to. Um, I know some places guarantee housing is if you get the contract in on t on a certain date. Um, I know UT that they don't have much space because a lot of people live on campus, but they do guarantee spots if you get in the contract on time. And um, so yeah, it may not be like the number one place you want to live, but um, the earlier you get the contract in the application, the earlier you're going to, um, the faster you're going to get where you want to live, and um, they're going to choose your preferences. Say you want to live at this place, uh, place A, and your uh, running runner-up or our second choice is uh, place B. Well, uh, if you send it in early enough, there's a good chance you'll get into place A, but if you send it in late, you probably will get into place B. You might get into place A if there's room, but earlier you send your housing stuff in is um, the best. Um, of course, this can apply to freshmen as well, getting your stuff in as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, that's the, the best thing to do while you're waiting for your application to like be uh, accepted or denied is to send in a housing application. Um, but, uh, again, if you, if you're not sure, I mean, I would still maybe fill it out, but a lot of places you have to pay for the housing contract, like, um, some places it's 50, 60, 40 to send in your application, and I'm sure at some universities or colleges you might not have to pay, um, an application fee, but many of them you do, um, for the processing and everything. But that's definitely something you want to do. Um, something else you might want to check out is like, while you're waiting for application, definitely go visit the college. I, I know I said that before in the first video, but especially after you send the application, like definitely check it out and make sure that's the place you want to be. Uh, check out the school that you, will, like your major, because uh, maybe you don't, you'll decide, oh, I don't want to go in that major anymore, you know, after visiting like what's there. Um, so yeah, um, what else you, another thing you can do is apply for financial aid. Do not, like, even if you don't make, um, even if you think you don't get, you won't get any financial aid, still apply because you can still get loans. Um, you can still get a little bit of money. Like, it just takes a little bit of time and everyone gets some amount. So definitely fill out financial aid, even if you think you don't need it or that, you think you won't get anything, just still fill it out and send all the information and um, paperwork to the university or college that you're going to be going to. Um, and if you're applying halfway through the year, like I'm going in spring, 
and you currently go to um, a school where you're using financial aid, make sure that you cancel the financial aid from like fall so that you'll be able to get other financial aid at the new university in the spring. If you don't cancel it, there's a chance you won't get the financial aid and that, um, and that they, they can take the money away that you, um, because you're kind of lying about, you know, still going to that school so they can take the money away and not get financial aid at all. So make sure you cancel all the financial aid at your first institution before going to your next one. Um, so that has to be done. I would wait to do that. I'll wait to cancel the financial aid until you know for sure you're transferring. But definitely send in all the paperwork right after you send your application. Because the sooner you get that in, the sooner they can process it, and the sooner, like, the earlier you send it in, the more money you get. Um, but don't cancel financial aid at your first institution until you find out if you're into your second. Send the paperwork, but don't cancel yet. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Definitely look at classes that you might be taking. I know that I can't uh, register for classes until after orient until orientation, which is January 9th. Uh, so all the good classes are taken, but I still look up online and see what classes are open and see which are closed. Um, some people might drop last minute as well, so you might want to look at the classes you're interested in and add that, write that down. Even though you can't sign up for them yet, I would still write them down, look at everything. Um, because I'm able to look at the classes, I just can't sign up for them yet. So I write down it what I'm, write down what I'm interested in and... Um, so I can go back and check, and if it's open, I'll be able to sign up. If not, I can wait until the drop date or sign up for it. Um, so uh, that's about it. Moving out at your old institution, if you live on campus, that's a hassle. I just finished that this week. So tiring, so much to do, cleaning up and everything. Um, def like I don't know what else to say. Because I think I pretty much said everything about housing applications and um, sending in financial aid. So those need to be done, you know, while the application is processing. Um, now, after you're accepted, um, like of course you have to. At some places, you have you have to choose if you want to take the um, go through admissions or not. If you want to deny it, but. Um, like at UT, at, for spring, they just, um, you don't have to, like, say you're going or not. You just have to sign up for orientation. Um, I guess because they assume you're going if you're applying for the spring, but um, that's what you want to do. Sign up for orientation. That's the most important thing. Sign up for orientation because that's when, you know, everything, that's when you sign up for your classes, talk to advisors, get stuff ready for, you know, starting classes. Uh, I guess they have tours or something too. Um, and then make sure after this time they have housing contracts open. Like if you get accepted, they usually have, they send you a housing contract, which you need to send in as soon as possible because that housing contract dictates where you're going to live. Um, and like the earlier you send it in, the more, the higher the chance that you'll get into your first choice spot. Um, so definitely send that in as soon as possible. Um, financial aid, you'll probably have to accept financial aid. Cancel at your current institution. Um, that's all I can think about for after. Um, definitely like buy more supplies if you need them for when you start school. Like, well, I'm just thinking like for spring semester, you'll probably have to buy new stuff, but you already have stuff um, from fall. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think I covered everything. Um, I can't really say anything about people who are who are going to move into apartments. I know you still have to go through an application process, I think. Um, but yeah, definitely find that sooner or something. Because um, I live on campus, so I really don't need to worry about looking for an apartment or anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't think of what else you may need. Um, Definitely, like, um, also for, like, if you if you have to do an audition for your major, or, like, right after you get accepted, um, or you need to do something for your major, set that up as soon as possible. Um, 
like don't don't wait because usually things have to be do done in person so like definitely get that out of the way um congratulations if you're transferring this upcoming semester um and yeah i think that's it uh, congratulations i hope you guys enjoy the new schools that you're going to or um if you're applying good luck with applications and um yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me, uh, comment or anything, or um, talk to your admissions advisor at the university or a school that you're, you want to transfer to, um, because they will definitely help you, and I can try and help, but I don't know specifics about certain schools or anything, so um, yeah, that's it. I hope I helped you guys, and if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!